Hi friends! Today is my TBR takedown for the month of January. <laughs> new here the TBR takedown is a game that I've been playing for the past couple of years here on YouTube trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number I think I started out at around 240 uh, down to something manageable I think this year my goal is to get it down to a hundred so we started off January at 163 we're gonna go over the books that I hauled for the month and then quickly go over the books that I read and uh, I will you know point you to my wrap-up if you want to know more about the books that I read but we'll go over the books that I hauled, the books that I read, and then find out what the new number is at the end. Also uh, always pay attention to the numbers above because sometimes I read books that I don't physically own so sometimes they count sometimes they don't. Um, also sometimes I haul books that I've already read so sometimes they count sometimes they don't. The first four books we're going to talk about are books that I've already read but I really enjoyed so I wanted to go ahead and pick up physical copies for. The first two are City of Ghosts and Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. These are the first two books in her mid-grade uh, ghost haunting type series. Uh, I read these earlier this year, maybe in October, maybe in November, and I really enjoyed them and so I wanted to purchase them. So I did. These books follow Cassidy Blake who is a mid-grade age range girl. She has the ability to kind of travel into like a ghost realm kind of sorta and her best friend is a ghost and she her parents are I don't want to say they're ghost hunters but like they travel to different places that are supposedly haunted and they kind of debunk the haunting theory but also talk about uh, the history of the place where they're at and basically at least the first book follows her learning that there is someone else like her out there and there's more about uh, the world that she goes into than what she had previously thought. I then picked up Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. I read this at the end of 2019, I think, or beginning of 2020. I don't even remember. I read this a long time ago. I really enjoyed it. I love this cover versus the black cover. Sometimes, like, if I read a book I don't own, I do tend to wait until it comes out in paperback um, to purchase it because it's cheaper. And also it takes up less room on my shelves. So I read this, enjoyed it. So here it is. And this book follows Nora who isn't necessarily a witch but she has a connection with the Winterwood which is the place that she lives and everyone in the town you know thinks that her family is a whole family of witches. And there's a place in the Winterwood where things go that are lost. Kind of like Gord's house from um, the Halloween Town series. Uh, they, uh, there's a place where all of the things go that are like lost or missing or something and so she has this connection with that and the at some point like they're snowed in she meets this boy from this boys camp that's across the lake uh, it's a whole ordeal and I really liked it so. And then I picked up Meet Cute Some People Are Destined to Meet by a multitude of authors um, let's see, Jennifer L. Armentrout, Danielle Clayton, Katie Catugno, Jocelyn Davies, Hunter, nope, Huntley Fitzpatrick, Nina LaCour, Emery Lord, Catherine McGee, Cass Morgan, Julie Murphy, Meredith Russo, Sarah Shepard, Nicola Yoon, and E.B. Zavoy. Lots of different authors. Um, this was our author tube chat book club pick for November, December, and I really enjoyed it. And there were some stories in here that I really loved. Um, it's basically just a collection of short stories that are all about different meat cutes. Um, there is a live show for this on Kate's channel that I will link in the description box below if you would like to check that out. Um, but I just really enjoyed this book so I wanted to pick up my own copy because there are some short stories in here that I would really like to reread. I'm going to, I'm trying to do some short stories this year. Um, so there's some in here that I would really like to kind of study the, uh, the writerly aspects of. Let's put it that way. I then picked up a couple book of the month books. Uh, the first being The Survivors by Jane Harper. Uh, Jane Harper I found last year and really enjoy her mystery novels. They're all set in Australia. They all are very immersive as far as um, like the setting goes. Her setting is very much a character of the book. I don't know what this one specifically is about. I'm trying to go I'm trying to go into these mysteries like without knowing a whole lot about them. So um, I don't know what this one's about but I do know that I have really enjoyed her books in the past so 
picked this one up. And I also grabbed The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. You already know what this is about because you're on booktube and so I don't need to explain that. This is by B.E. Schwab. Um, this was the best book book club pick for last month that's run by Sassy Cassie. I didn't read it yet but I bought the book so that I could read it and then didn't read it. We then have House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. This is a beast of a book that I buddy read with Julie from Pages and Pens and Amber from Amber Books, Amber's Books and More and uh, a few other people on the interwebs. And uh, basically this book is a movie inside of like someone's notes inside of a book inside of a book inside of a book. I don't really know. It's very um, it's very unsettling. Some people say that it's like a horror book and it's really super scary. I just found it kind of unsettling and uncomfortable more so than actually scary. Um, there's a lot of like misogynistic horribleness in this but I, I hate to say things like it makes sense for the story but it makes sense for the story and I think that if you read further into it it all makes sense but um, it's, a, it's a whole other thing. Um, we already had the live show for this but I will link it in the description box below if you're someone who has read this book before and you want to have like some deeper thoughts into it. Um, Julie, Amber and I discussed this along with some other people in the live chat and uh, I enjoyed it. So uh, we then have These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This was the Owlcrate book for December that I didn't get until January because my Owlcrate is notoriously always late. Surprisingly the January one got here on time which is good but the December one was late as per usual. I don't know what this is about other than I believe it's like a Romeo and Juliet retelling in Shanghai. I hate Romeo and Juliet. Why did I? I don't know. This book sounds interesting if you don't tell me it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling. Let's put it that way because I really don't like Romeo and Juliet but that's neither here nor there. And then the January book for Owlcrate was Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Um, I think it's a Medusa retelling but I don't know that for sure but like like I know it's not a Medusa retelling because the character's name is Lore but my brain says it's a Medusa retelling and that's... Listen, I am obsessed with Medusa and her origin story so I was gonna read this regardless of what it was called. Basically let's go with that. And then we have Geraldine's Alley by Becca C. Smith who is a fellow author tuber who I will link in the description box down below. This book follows Geraldine who is um I would say a book nerd of sorts and basically she has a ability for like the characters in the books to kind of come to life in her real world and at one point like her grandma gives her a gun she shoots somebody there's like a whole ordeal with this alley where all of her nightmares live I haven't read it yet because I'm a horrible friend um but along with this gorgeous cover which this is Becca Becca made the dress her husband took a picture they made this cover and then uh, my other friend Phoebe who I will also link down below made all of these gorgeous chapter titles. So um, this is just like my friends in book form and I love it. So I, I will be picking this up hopefully soon. You know one of these days when I need a short read. I'm kind of saving it for when I need a short read because I have been reading a lot of thick boys lately. So um, I'm kind of like I'm saving it. I shouldn't save it. I should read it but I'm saving it for like a day when I just want to like sit down and read a whole book in a day. Okay so if you were counting that was six books that count. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That's five books that count. Six books? Five books. Am I missing a book? Now I'm questioning myself. Wow that was more complicated because I've read one of them since the end of January but it's on February's list so it doesn't count for this. This is why this is hard. Why I always have to recount at the end of the year because my math ends up wrong inevitably. So I hold six books that count. Let's move on to the books that I read in January. I read Moonstruck, the graphic novel by Grace Ellis. Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. You Have a Match by Emma Lord. Waterfall by Lauren Kate. Other Earth and Other Life by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller and Makeup Breakup by Lily Manon. That was six books that count towards coming off my TBR. I had no unhauls or DNFs for this month so basically the number that I started with is 163 and the number that I end with 
is 163. So I still have 63 books to go. I didn't go anywhere. But I also didn't add any books to my TBR, so I'm feeling okay about that. I would have loved to have started off the year with just like a super low number, but that didn't happen. I, w I would have loved to have like started the year off with a bang and just read like a whole bunch of books, but that's not what happened. So we're still at 163. We didn't go up. So like I could be okay with that. Um, if you want to know about the books that I read this month, I will link the actual wrap up in the description box below as well as in the cards for you. It just makes this video way too long to talk about everything all at once. So let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, or concerns. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!